HVAC level one, introduction to HVAC. All right, so in this course of instruction, we're gonna learn the um, basic principles of heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration, and also the principles that guide the installation and service in the HVAC industry. So back in the day before we had forced air heating, everybody had to huddle together and around fires to, to keep warm, but we have a, quite a few different options now. What we're looking here at here is forced air heating, where we have a, a fossil fuel burning furnace in the basement or up in the attic. It's connected to ductwork that brings the warm air into the living space. Now the way these work basically is it burns the fuel and the flue gases flow through a heat exchanger which isolates the flue gases from the warm air in the home that vents the flue gases out of the house and that warm air is blown across that hot and warm heat exchanger to heat up the air and it recirculates throughout the house to keep it warm no matter what whether it's in the basement the attic sometimes they're in the garage and even sometimes there's systems that are outside depending on where you live there's also hydronic heating it works the same way with a, some burners heat exchanger and we have water that now flows across that heat exchanger to heat pick up that water the water flows through piping to a radiator system here and there are many times when instead of using the radiators like this they'll have coils of pipe that go through a concrete slab and it'll warm the entire slab the other application that I've seen is with the hydronic heating and they'll take that warm water and they will flow it up through like a radiator coil and then they'll blow warm uh, they'll blow air across it to make it a forced air heating system. Now in the sidebar it talked about some high efficiency equipment um, specifically a 90 to 96 percent efficient equipment you can get that in hydronic heating as well as forced air heating what that efficiency means is for every 100 units of fuel that you use you utilize 90 to 96 percent of it to heat your home and only 10 to or from 4 to 10 percent of it is lost out through the flue gases so it's almost 100 percent efficient it's about as efficient as you can get for a fossil fuel system there it also mentions multi-position if you take a look at this system this would be one you would find this looks like it's in, a, in an attic here but it is in the upflow configuration you can also lay them sideways left or right and you can flip them upside down so they can blow up down left or right uh, about 10 or 15 years back you used to have to buy specific upflow downflow counterflow uh, and horizontal systems so uh, now we have them so they're, they're called multi-position okay so the high efficiency systems tend to pay for themselves over the course of five or six years depending on the use and the amount of um, the cost of the fuel and so it's a very good investment for you and for your customers and a lot of uh, power companies and counties and cities offer rebates and incentives to purchase higher efficiency equipment uh, a few years ago I think there was like a 15 or 1600 dollar federal rebate that they gave for that okay so that's the end of this lesson just a quick note as to why they talked about high efficiency equipment in the sidebar